but your video camera because you're, you can't see me, but I want to see you too. I see Drew. Drew, I don't know how to pronounce the latter part of your name. Would you, would you mind telling just me how you it, pronounce that name? It's a beautiful name, by the way. Drew? Drew is fine. Okay, awesome. Hi, Drew. All right, awesome. So I'm seeing Drew. Drew's camera is open. Is there anybody else who wants to be brave and bold enough to open their cameras for the purpose of this session? Sorry, coming, sorry, Ariko. Oh, I see Ariko. Hi, Ariko. Oh, there are a lot of guys on this call. Awesome. Sahana. Oh, Sahana. I love your plaits. Can you do my hair for me? When I when I when I end this session. <laughs> All right, let me see who is on here, whose camera is open. Who's next? All right, all right, all right. So I'm looking now. Awesome. So I see is open his camera, but he can't show his face for some reason. Can't show his face. Oh, why not? All right. So Arico, uh, I'm seeing Drew and I'm seeing is this Dehad? How do you pronounce that name? Am I correct? Dihad. Okay. Hi, my darling. And let me see who else. I see Sahana. Okay. Awesome. Is this Abriana? Abriana, is that correct? Tell me now so I can yes, jump. Yes. All right. Great. So I'm getting the names correct. I'm very excited about this. Awesome. All right. Cool. So today, guys, we're going to be talking about vision board. Have you ever heard about the, the concept or the word vision board? Hi, William. Oh, my God. Hi, William. I love your cheeks. They remind me of mine. You see, William, you and I, we have the, we're in the cheek, we're in the cute cheek squad, right, William? Hello, darling. Okay. See, I see Drew getting jealous. Drew, don't get jealous, Okay. William and I, we're pairing for today because we have the cute cheeks. You understand? Well, all of you have the cute cheeks, but you know, William and I have a special relationship going right now. Okay, cool. So we're going to be talking about vision board today. Now, how many of you know what a vision board is? Can anybody tell me what a vision board is? Anybody ever, have you ever, or better yet, have you ever seen a vision board before? Anybody? I've done one before. You, hold on. Drew, you did one? All right, so tell me. You want to tell us what was on that vision board? Um, I didn't that do one, one but I saw one. Oh, you didn't do one. You just saw it. So what were some of the things that you saw on the vision board, though? Well, saw all kinds of stuff, like, was my cousin's own, so she wanted to do dancing. Uh, be okay. A teacher and all kinds of other stuff. All right, awesome. But here's the thing, now I want for you guys quickly. Then that's why I asked you to open your camera because we are now going to go on a little journey to creating our own mental vision board. So here's how here's how we're gonna do it now. I need for you to take your hands, put them over your eyes, and I'm going to bring you through a little exercise. All right, so I see William is, is, is all set. I see Ariko is all set. I see Sahan is all set. So while your hands are over your eyes, I see the hand is all right. You, you guys are working with me. I love it. So close your eyes for me. And I want for you to visualize something that you really want. Something that you really, really, really want. I don't know. Maybe it's a new iPhone. Maybe it's a new tablet. Maybe it's the new trip to some fancy country. I don't know, right? But you, I want for you to visualize having that thing. Think about you, if it's a cell phone, think about having the newest Samsung, whatever it is that you want. Picture, maybe it could be the A on your next exam. I don't know, what is it? So I want for you to think now for me, what are you seeing? Is it maybe it's ice cream? I don't know. I don't know why, why, why I'm thinking about ice cream right now. <laughs> Okay, so open your eyes, remove your hands from over your eyes. Tell me now quickly, what did you think about? Anybody can unmute your mic and tell me what you were the thinking The newest about. Apple tablet. The newest Apple tablet, I like I it. I thought about going to Japan. 
<gasps> going to Japan. I love it. Nice. It's also okay. about the sham Oh, so, so oh, William. So I guess we're in the Samsung family together, right? Okay, so I hear the Apple. I hear Japan. The I hear Samsung. The newest gaming laptop. The newest gaming laptop. What? I like that, Ariko. So, so how, so how, how that, how that laptop look now? The gaming laptop. It's already. It's an also drink about a PS Five. It's like a. Huh? All you can think about, Drew, is what? The PS5? And the Apple tablet. And the Apple tablet. All right, cool. So tell me, Dehad, what were you thinking about? I was thinking about going to Japan. Going to Japan. All right. Is there any um state or so in Japan that you want to go to? What do you want to see when you get to Japan? We should want to eat some sushi. Sushi? The, anim ah. the animation. Okay. All right. Maybe, no, not now. If they have any rice balls, I'll take some. Rice balls, okay, nice. So, what, 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 what's in the rice ball? Do they have like uh, fish in it, or is it just rice? I don't know. I've never had that before. I, I, to be honest, I don't know, but it's it's like um rice for, um put it together in a ball. Sometimes they put other ingredients in it. Mm -hmm. Such as vegetables, or crushed vegetables or so. Then you eat it with the rice. Okay. Yeah. All right. Nice. Oh, vegetables. Okay. All right. No problem. So, guys, here's the thing, though. When we talk about vision board, especially for you, did you know that the things, not everything, mark you, so... Even though we know that we have, okay, Daniel is saying, I thought about going to a great college, but which college is that, Daniel? Would you mind telling us the name of that college? I thought about getting a, into an Ivy League college, but, but, but what's the name though? Oh, like Yale. Okay, nice. I love that. So you want to go to Yale. So that's your vision for your life. But here's the thing. Oh, and being valedictorian, that's a good vision to have. I like that. But here's the thing, guys. The important thing to note about a vision board, firstly, is that you first have to have a vision. What are you thinking? Oh, I see Drew said owning a car. But do you want an old car, Drew? You want an old car? Like the buggy, you know, the buggy looking cars. <laughs> a Mercedes. Or do you Benz. want like a convert? A Mercedes Benz. Ah. Listen, you see, when you get that card they had, I need for you to call me up, hit me up, so we can just go on the North Coast. You see what I'm saying? So I won't pay for gas or anything. You'll cover all of that. I'll just be the passenger, and you'll drive me yes, to wherever I, I need to go. Okay? I'm all right. Also awesome. Thinking, I'm also thinking about being a pilot. So Miss, I have a specific car I want me. Oh, you have a specific? Ah. So here's what we're going to get to know, guys. And I love that Drew just said that. Before you start doing a vision board, guys, you have to figure out what it is that you want. So, for example, some of you said that you wanted a tablet, you wanted an iPhone, some of you wanted a car. But do you know how much that car or that tablet or that trip to, to Japan, how much money, do you know how much money it actually costs? How many of you can tell me that you want, you know how much, how much it is? You know, because you research it, so you know. William, how much, how much? What's the cost? It goes up to like, six, a phone, Samsung phone goes up to like 60000 Ah, so the Samsung phone that you want is $60,000. Here's the plan now. When you're doing vision board, guys, you have to figure out how much, if, if there's a cost attached, or what do you need to put in to get the results? So I see some of you say, boy, you want your Mercedes Benz, but do you know how much a Mercedes Benz actually costs? So you have to employ what they call, what's that? It's a luxury car. So it's expensive. Right, so the thing is that, guys, it's a luxury car, good, but... McLaren 12 seats but did you know or though Lamborghini let me tell you a little S story about okay all right 
Fair enough. But how many of you know uh, an actor by the name of Arnold Schwarzenegger? Have you ever watched like The Terminator before? You know where he said the famous line, I'll be back. Yeah. Oh. All right, good. But did you know how Arnold Schwarzenegger actually got to be an actor? I'm going to tell you a little story. When Arnold was younger, like you, he always dreamed of becoming a bodybuilder. So here's what he did. He, of course, he was not American at all. And you know that Hollywood is where? Anybody know where Hollywood is? In America. America. In America, exactly. So he was not American, but of course he wanted to go to Hollywood because he wanted to be an actor. But before he could get to that level, he wanted to be a bodybuilder. So here's the thing. What Arnold Schwarzenegger did is that he got pictures of bodybuilders and he surrounded, he painted his room with pictures of people lifting heavy weights, persons working out every day, working out, working out, working out every day. And did you know that just by seeing those pictures every day, Arnold Schwarzenegger was inspired to work out, of course, every day. And eventually, he actually got to start his career in bodybuilding. So that story really just goes to say that what you visualize and what you see in front of you every day, if you work towards it, it can actually come to being. So for those of you who know all of the things, so you would have said that, let's say you want to go to Japan. I need for you to get a picture of Japan. I need for you to get a picture of that tablet. I need for you to get a photo of whatever it is that you are hoping for. It could be an A on that, uh, I don't know, that, uh, that exam that you plan to do in the next couple of weeks or whenever, but you have to get a picture that reminds you of that goal. Because you, if you don't keep it before your eyes, you're going to forget about it, right? So what I need, hi, Abriana. Abriana, I didn't, get, I didn't get your wish. What was your wish? What do you want? What's something that you're, you really would want? It's an iPhone. You want a what? An iPhone. Uh, want an iPhone? Stop screen sharing. Okay, somebody is screen sharing. Let me see here. Alrighty. All right, Drew, you need to end your screen share. Thank you. All right, awesome. So guys, so what I need for you to do now, your homework for today, and I'm going to make this session pretty quick, right? You need to get a photo of the things that you want, right? And you need to get a time frame. So let's say, for example, uh, you don't have all the money right now. So uh, William uh, earlier would have said that, you know, he wants the Samsung phone. And William, I, I'm with, I need a new Samsung phone. I said, so you said that it actually costs $60,000 for the phone that you want. So tell me something. How much money you get for, how much money, how much money you get for lunch money? Because remember, you know, you're I, gonna I, have to start. I, I don't get lunch money. I have lunch tickets. I don't get lunch money. So when you go, when you go, when you, when you, when you are at school, how much money do you get for lunch? Money? Only like one fifty. William. Yes. Okay. All right. But here's the thing. Do you know that you can actually share? You can actually actually save out of that that lunch money that you have. But equally so, did you know that all of you right here can talk to your parents to say, listen, Miss. mommy, listen, daddy, I am saving towards Drew. Miss. Yes, darling, go ahead. I'm showing you my car that I want. Oh, you're showing me the car that you want. Okay. Is this a Lamborghini? Miss. No, Miss Samaritan, but it's not this McLaren, Miss. Oh, I love this. So is this a two-seater or a four-seater? Two-seater, miss. Uh -huh. Oh, so, so, Drew, you don't plan to bring people in your car? It's just you and nobody? <laughs> All right, cool. I love it. What color is this? Is this red or orange? Orange, miss. But miss, this is the car if I want, not this one. Okay, so what age do you plan to get this car though? Because I know it can't be no, because you're pretty young. 
and you don't have driver's yeah. license just yet. <laughs> so when do you plan to get this car by? Yes, there. Oh, I'm thinking about when I'm older and I'm an adult. When you're an adult, like what age? Like maybe by by when you're 30, when you're 25, what age? <laughs> All right, so you're still thinking about it. Ah, oh, I love it. I love how you guys are putting up the photos. So, William, this is the photo of the phone that you want? Yes, Miss. Nice. And I was, I was trying to say that. I have $12,000 saved up so far. Oh, my God, $12,000 already? That's so cool. So, all right, great. So, no, tell me now, do the math. Your phone costs what? $60,000 and you have $12,000. Tell me now. How much more money do you need? How much more money do you need, William? Because you have $12,000 and I must say that is awesome. So you have $12,000 in savings. So that means you need an additional... $48,000, right? To get that phone. Yes. So what's the plan now? Have you asked mommy and daddy to say, mommy and daddy, I need a little bit more money? Because you naturally you're going to be saving a little bit more, but you know you need more money, right? To purchase the phone. Yeah. I've been doing right. some chores. You've been doing some chores and you're getting paid for the chores? For the chores? Yes, but only like 200 oh. Okay, that's smart. Okay, awesome. So here's the thing now, guys. So for those of you who have other uh, things that you have in mind, so maybe you want that A in the exam, but you know that if you want to get the A, you are going to have to study a little bit more, right? And pay attention more in class. Cool. But equally, you have to add maybe a timetable to study, right? But what I want for you to do every day, though, when you get up, I want for you to look at, I want you to print out the picture of the thing that you want. Print it out. So all the pictures that you displayed on the screen here, I want for you to print out the photo, a photo of it and put it on your wall. Put it somewhere that every morning you get up, you're actually seeing it. Because how vision board works is that the more you see something, is the more you are drawing, you're drawing that thing into you. But it doesn't happen by magic. You have to put the work in. So I love the fact that William just said that he his phone is $60,000, but right now he has saved $12,000 and he's going to be working on getting the additional $48,000. That is a plan. So for every goal that you have, right, for your vision board, you must have a plan in place, right? So, it, so don't get it twisted that you just put up the picture and you wish away. No. You have to put the work in. So maybe it is that you have to ask your mom or dad or William is doing chores um, to get the additional money. You have to put a plan in place. The only way you will get the results is that you have to work for what you want, right? All right, so I'm seeing something here. Sahana is saying, in order to get a job, you have to go to a good high school. That's true. You have to get the good grades. So I understand. So in order to get to the Ivy League school, uh, Sahana, you have to study. You have to do well in school. How do you do well in school? It means, sweetheart, you have to study, right? And you have to ensure that when you get your exam, uh, you do your very best. But in order to do your best, you have to study and you have to do well and you have to pay attention in school. Cool? So now, guys, another thing before I close this session out you have you all have homework so here's the homework please get your pens and paper because i need i'm gonna ask miss Roden for the information from all of you to ensure that you did the homework so here's the homework everybody you have your pen and paper because i don't just talk to, for talking sake you know i i give homework <laughs> okay all right so the homework is this Everybody have your pen and paper? All right. So Natari, Natari is, Natari has, all right, good. So Natari is ready. So homework now is number one, you're going to select three things that you want in your life. 
whether it be no one when at this age or in the future, whatever it is, three things that you want. So let's say, for example, I love the fact that Sahana wants to go to Yale. So Sahana, what do you want to study? Oh. Sahana, oh, me. Sahana, go ahead. Yes, that was not me who said said that I wanted to go to Yale. It's not you. It's who again? Hold on, let me go back up. In. Oh, it's Daniel. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, sweetheart. So Daniel wants to go to Yale, right? So Daniel, you need to tell uh, me what do you plan to study at Yale? Because what you don't want to show for Yale and say, here I am. And you don't and, and you don't know what discipline or what cor course of study you want to undertake, right? So you need to find out what do you want to do at Yale, right? And when do you want to start Yale? Is it when you're at the age of 18, 19, 20? What, what's your plan? Uh, what, the phone that you want, what, what's the type of phone that you want, right? What's the model phone that you want? What's the color phone that you want? Do you want a case for it, like my nice spanking red case here? What kind of casing do you want? All of that. You're going to put your plans in place, your wish in place. But you're going to print out a photo of the three things that you want. So let's say, for example, like Daniel, you want to go to Yale. What is Yale's logo? I want for you to put get a picture of somebody who has graduated from Yale, and you're going to put that up on your wall. But here's the good, the fun, where it gets juicy. Where it gets a little juicy is that Daniel, you're going to take a photo of yourself. You're going to cut out the photo of your face and you're going to put it on to that graduate face. So every time you look at that photo, you are seeing Daniel graduating from Yale with distinction as the valedictorian, right? So you're going to get really creative with your vision board. And for William now, you want that, 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 that uh, Samsung phone. I want for you to take a photo of yourself holding the Samsung phone in your hand and looking all excited. So every morning you get up, William, you're seeing that photo in front of your face, reminding you that this is one of the goals that you have. Give me a second. All right, darling. So William is saying, how come the younger ones only have their camera on? I don't know. I guess maybe they don't want me to see them. That's okay, though. All right, guys. So, yes. So, whatever it is. So, homework, remember, guys. Can somebody give me a recap of what I just said? Anybody? So, like, three things you want in life? Uh-huh. And to cut out a picture of yourself holding or graduating. Yes, yes. And where are you going to put that picture, though? In your room. In your room. So every morning when you get up, you're seeing it in your room, right? Because that's your vision. That's what you want to achieve. And remember, if you want to do well in school as well, every time you get up and you see that A+, plus, it means that you need to work hard to get that A+, plus, right? Am I right or am I right? Okay. All right. So guys, I'm going to put a little video up now and I want for you to watch this video very keenly. And this really concludes my presentation to you because guess what? A vision board is all about visualizing what you want, putting your plans in place and making it happen. But I'm going to show you a little video now by Terry Savelle Foy. Uh, she's, she's who I call the vision board lady, by the way. Uh, so let me just share that screen with you right now. And she's going to talk about how vision boards work. So pay keen attention to this video, guys. It's really interesting. So let's work it. Nine-year-old little girl was sitting in class and Can her you guys teacher had video? an assignment for her by. She said, I want you to go home and create a vision board of what you want to be when you grow up. Well, this little nine-year-old girl penned a photo of Selena the queen of Tejano music at the time. And she wrote on there, I will be a pop star. Well, that little girl was Katy Perry, who is an international pop star. 
You know, I read another story where a young guy named DeAndre Cortez Way, his teacher said, I want every one of you to make a list of everything you want to accomplish, you know, when you grow up. He said he wrote four things. He said, number one, I'm going to record music. Number two, I'm going to have a number one album. Number three, I'm going to go platinum. And number four, I'm going to invent a dance that everybody will. So what's your best relationship uh, advice? For sure, the number one thing that impacts relationships is people's attachment okay, style. that was an ad. Sorry about that, guys. Will do. Well, DeAndre Cortez Way, better known as Soldier Boy. <laughs> I'll just stop right there. This is Soldier Boy. Look, he did all four of the things he wrote down. Well, you know, I'm talking to you this week about my new book, Dream It, Pin It, Live It. How to make vision boards work for you. You know, I've been in craft stores before and had people come up to me and go, you're the, you're the dream board lady. Well, there is such power in having a vision board. You know, the world became aware of vision boards when the DVD came out called The Secret. Now, The Secret, you know, was just a reality, an amazing teaching on the law of attraction. Then there's pros and cons, but the law of attraction basically comes from Proverbs 23, 7, which says that whatever a man thinks in his heart, so does he become. All right, it I'm going to pause that video for a little bit. I'm going to share the link to this video with Miss Rhoda to, to share to with you. But I want for you to look on the Pardon? Okay, so guys, look on your screen. If you notice, that's actually how a vision board looks. So if you notice, there's a car there. So whoever, whoever, whoever owns this vision board actually wants that car. So they got a picture of the car and they put it on the vision board. Somebody wants to go to New York. I don't know why. I feel that that might just be Drew. Is it Drew? Okay, so um, okay, so, uh, mm -hmm. okay, Drew, I hear you. So this person wants to go to New York. So what did they do? They got a photo of New York, right, where the Statue of Liberty is. Cool. Uh, they wanted to, to 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 get fit, so they got a photo of somebody who's working out. They wanted to ride to buy a horse, so what? They got a photo of the horse. So again, guys, as I said before, vision board is all about getting the photos that you want and working towards what you want to achieve in your life. Cool. Again, it doesn't matter if you're young, if you're old. Once you have a vision board, it is possible that the things that you dream about. Remember who she spoke about in the video. Any of you know Soldier Boy? No, miss. Can't know. Oh, the <laughs> Actually, no. I know the song. I know the song. You know the song. All right. Fabulous. Did he create but did you know that he wrote those things when he was your age, though? And he achieved all of those things when he, he got older. Did he create the floss, miss? Did he create the floss? No, he sang, um, what's the song called? Then what, then what dance item did he create? Yeah. Which but one did he create? Thing is, what's that? Which, 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 which popular dance did he create? Um, what was it? This, 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 this No, no, it's not with her name. Her name is this Drunk guy by the name of, um, uh, Lil Nas X. Yeah, but anyways, he created a dance move. But equally so, um, he got, as I said before, all that he wanted, right? Because he created that vision board, right? But the thing is that when he did it, he was pretty young. So he wasn't like old. He wasn't like an older person. He was very young when he did it. But what? He worked towards it. So the important thing, guys, to note is that no matter how young you are, you can still have a vision for your life. Some of you here, your vision is to become a medical doctor. Some of you might want to become a lawyer or, or actress or a dancer or whatever it is. You can start working towards that dream even now, right? I know young persons uh, who... Uh, when they were younger, they pictured themselves that, oh, you know, I want to travel the world. And today they're doing exactly that. Why? Because they got a vision. A vision is all about what you see, 
what you think about, what you dream about. Some of you, when you're in class and you should be listening to the teacher, you're daydreaming about Japan. And that's good, but you need to pay attention. <laughs> because if you don't pay attention in school, you are not going to really uh, be able to move into where you want to go. All right, Drew? Thank you for making that funny face. All right. So here's the thing now, guys. The last thing is that I would have given the assignment that you need to identify three things that you want to do or you want to achieve in your life. But equally so, there's another step to that thing. I want for you every morning when you get up to make uh, an effort to work in towards what you want right? So Daniel said that you wants to go to Yale. Daniel, it means that you, you're going to have to work really hard, right? Sahana, you know your vision. William, you know your vision. Jelani, you know your vision. Andrew, you know your vision, right? But here's the thing, Drew. Right? Karen Kelsey I, Spider for the win. What's that? The car I want is a McLaren 12C Spider. Is a McLaren, what? 12C Spider? That's the name? Yes, miss. Okay, all right, fine. So get a photo of it and put it on your wall. But what else do you want to achieve, though? Is it just to have a car, Drew? No, miss, I want to be a millionaire. You want to be a millionaire? How do you plan to be a millionaire? What do you plan I'm to, do be a to be a millionaire? I'm going to be a robotic scientist and make lots and lots of money. A robotic scientist? Nice. Sounds like a plan. So guess what, Drew? That's your plan. So maybe you've already listed the three things that you want because you said you're, you want to be a robotics engineer and plus you want to become a millionaire and plus you want to own that car. So that's, that, those are three things that you want to achieve. Get photos of persons who are, whether it be in the field or objects of the things that you are aspiring towards. Cool? So guys, Miss. that really concludes my session. Are there any questions? Miss. Thanks for the presentation. It was really good. Really? Really? Are you sure it was really good? What did you learn? I learned Miss? stuff about vision boards. I, le I learned that good work comes from hard work. And now you see my nose. Okay, Tyler. Oh, I love it. They had good works come from hard works. I love it. Miss? A note on you, darling. Yes, go ahead, darling. Can it be more than three? Who is next? Yes, William. Can it, can it be more than three? Um, can sure. Be Okay. Drew, 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 Drew. Drew, yield and pause. Yes, William. That's you can I mean. have at most, you can have 10 things. I don't recommend for you to have more than 10 things. Right. So, yeah, you can have more than three. Sure, you can. All right. Any other question, guys? Okay, Miss. Yes,